Hi you guys, I just wanted to jump on here and just talk for a little bit today. We all know what's going on out there in the world, the virus and everything. I just, I don't want to talk about that too much. I want to talk more about the positive things that we can be doing. So um, I felt myself feeling very overwhelmed with um, worry and fear. And, you know, I was getting caught up in the power shopping. I was going from grocery store to grocery store trying to find frozen spinach for our smoothies. Like, apparently everyone buys frozen spinach. It was, and it was stressing me out a little bit. And I found myself for a few days just starting to get uh, quite anxious and falling into some bad habits that I have. Nothing terrible, but you know, for me, it's just overeating chocolate or chips or having that extra glass of wine sometimes. And it, not to the point where I like gain lots of weight or anything. It just, I know inside of me that I'm, I'm, I'm fretting and I'm doing that for the wrong reason. Not because I'm hungry or anything like that, because I'm stressed. So I, I could feel it in my, in my body. And, you know, I felt like that for probably close to a week. Um, and then yesterday I woke up and the sky was blue and the birds were still flying and chirping and singing. And it was kind of a neat moment because it was the first time I felt normal that whole week. And I just kind of realized that I needed to take a step back from all this panic and all this craziness and live on the belief of what I tell other people all the time. And that for me, as you will see in this article, is faith. And that doesn't mean going to church all the time. It just means an underlying faith. And for me, it's God that um, he's in control. So it doesn't matter what's going on out there, that, that there is a bigger control and reason for things that are going on. So obviously, you know, we're doing what we can and I'm staying home. I, I go occasionally if I need something, but I'm doing my best to stay home and stay away from it. But other than that, like, I'm just kind of giving it over. What are you going to do? You can't, you cannot do anything other than, you know, put the measures in that you are told to do. So start to live your life again. One of the things that you can do to start to help you feel better is be creative. Go back to when you were a little kid. For me, I have this memory. I must have been four or five years old, sitting outside somewhere making daisy chains with flowers. That is just something that sticks in my memory. And, you know, I'm sure you have something. I have an art easel sitting downstairs about two years ago, not opened. I'm gonna try to open it. I have a sewing machine, a beautiful sewing machine from my mother-in-law, bunch of fabric. I, I don't really know how to sew. Maybe I'm gonna try and do that. I have a book I wanna read. I'm just saying like, there are things that you can do that we put to the side so much. And now maybe it's maybe this is happening for a reason to slow us all down, to make us more appreciative, to make us realize what's important in life and to get in touch with our creative sides. We can spend our time worried or we can just kind of put it aside and just start building on the things that are positive in our lives again. And that will help heal us and help us get through this time. As for social distancing, I want to touch on that too. It doesn't mean you have to be socially isolated. So just because you're at home and if you're home alone, like feel like reach out, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family. You can do video calls and things like that too, or message me. I'm happy to talk if somebody needs to just talk about things because we don't want to be alone. We want to be here to help each other. But instead of like feeding into the panic, let's start feeding into peace and, you know, just start listening to things too. Like I have some podcasts that I listen to that I really like. Uh, Leon Fontaine is one. I think he's fabulous and it just lifts my spirit up instead of that feeling all the time of being squashed down. So fill yourself with good things. Have faith. You know, for, again, I have to refer to the Bible because that is my faith. But it says in the Bible, do not worry. And if I believe in the Bible and believe in God, then I have to stop worrying. And I hope you can too. So I just want to share this message and hope you guys have a great day.